Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad channel. Three years ago, we put up a video about how we hacked a cooler and turned it into a not a Yeti cooler. And that video got over 2.3 million views to date. So we're coming back today with another one kind of in that series. Now, a while ago, we were out on the trail and one of the guys that we were with we stopped to resupply and he was putting ice creams in a refrigerator freezer in the back of his Jeep. And I thought, hey, kind of awkward flex, but okay. But when we were out on day three and he started handing out ice cream to everybody, I went, I get you now. So I started looking into them. Now the ARB refrigerators are like a thousand dollars and that's kind of the thing. But if you're gonna be an overlander, you apparently need a rooftop tent. We kind of just did a canvas topper. So we'll call that a truck bed tent. Um, you need a, a YouTube channel. We got that, and apparently now, Yeti isn't good enough. You need an ARB fridge. They're like a thousand bucks. So we're checking out these instead. Now this thing has kind of a neat, weird name. It's the F40 C4 TMP, and we're gonna address that a little bit later. But what this is, is this is a 12 volt runs in your car or truck refrigerator freezer. And this thing is awesome. We've been playing around with this. It's gone on a bunch of road trips with us. It's gone out to the desert with us. It kind of does everything. So it does a couple things kind of neat. It runs on 110 at your house. You can plug it in, get all your food in it, cool your food down, and then move it out to your truck, your trailer, your car, whatever. It doesn't have to be off-road. It could be just a road trip. And then it'll run on 12 volt. You plug it right into your car's cigarette lighter socket. So let me show you how I have it set up in the car. And then I'll kind of go over the features in the screen so you can make this thing work perfectly for your setup. You can get this thing for 20 to 30% of the price of an ARB fridge. Um, between two and 300 bucks gets you one of these. That's cheaper than a Yeti, and this thing does the cooling for you. Now, this is how we usually have it set up in the back of our truck, and we have it set up in this configuration because I still want to have a usable seat over there, and that's the nice thing. They come in a couple different sizes. We grabbed the one that we knew would fit here and not take up the other side, but you can also get them a lot bigger. Now, you can see here I've got it humming away even though the truck is not running and it's running off of a battery. And right now I got it set at 33 degrees, which is just above freezing. This thing can go down to, you know, way below freezing. So you can bring ice cream out on the trail or bring it back up if you're just bringing out food, keeping them cold. Now I have it running right now off of a battery bank down here, but you can plug it straight into your car's 12 volt socket. And even if your car isn't running, as long as your 12 volt socket is hot, this will still work. Now, something to note is it also has a feature when you go into the menu, you can set up a safety feature in here where if it drops the voltage of your car too low, it will shut the fridge off and stop drawing your battery down so your car will still start. Now, the reason I have it set up like this is because I have this battery charging off of my truck and I also have it charging off of a solar panel on the roof when we're out in the desert camping for days on end. Now, if we come down to the battery itself, You can see here, when the fridge is sitting basically at idle, it's pulling basically nothing, not even enough to really register on this. Now, let me get the fridge to cycle and I'll show you what it actually pulls off the battery. So when the compressor is actually running, it pulls between kind of 40 and 60 watts of juice. And on this battery, that would give us Look at this, it kind of fluctuates, but um, we're talking 30 to 40 hours of runtime, but it only cycles that for a couple minutes every 15 or 20 minutes. So on this battery, I've managed to run the trailer for days without having to charge it or even hook up the solar. So as you can see here, there's a fair amount of space in this thing, even though this is the smaller model. Now it is kind of empty. I only have a few things in here because we're on our way to the store. We're gonna fill this sucker up for a road trip. Then we'll bring it home, keep it cold, and then we'll be ready to go tomorrow. And on this trip we're going on tomorrow, we're actually just going to a hotel. We're not doing an off-road trip, but it'll be great because we can keep all our food in the hotel cold, bring back leftovers. We're good to go. Um, you can bring stuff with you. So you can actually save a lot of money with one of these. Now, if you want to check out this for yourself, I do have a link for it down below, but this is going to give you an idea of how much stuff we managed to fit in this thing on our road trip. Now, on the left side, originally we had two six packs of soda and on the right side, we had salads and uh, lunch meats, deli meats, stuff like that, condiments, cheeses, and all the other good stuff. But I think this is really where this thing shines, at least for me. I can't stand that gross, chalky, fake coffee cream or stuff that the hotels give you. And I get to bring my own jug of milk and have a proper cup of coffee each morning. So as I had mentioned, the name's kind of funny and we've got a solution for that. We hopped on the 3D printer and we made this little badge not an ARB. So if people ask you what you got, instead of having to remember all those numbers and letters, you can always just say, it's not an ARB. And when we did our, our cooler hacks video, everybody pointed out that the Yeti coolers are bear proof and this one isn't. And the ARB coolers aren't bear proof and this one isn't. So I decided 
let's make it bear proofish. And I got some latches. So let's put those on there. It'll actually make it look kind of cool too. So now we've got the label on there. As you can tell people, you have not an ARB. We've got some new latches on there, which should help hold it nice and shut. If a bear, or more realistically, probably a raccoon, I think if a bear wanted in there, it'd get in there anyway. Now, side note, do not screw into the side of these unless you know what's inside it. These do have coolant lines running in them, so you do need to make sure you know where the coolant lines are if you are going to be screwing into them. Now, it is getting a little hot out here. But I hope this video helped you out, maybe gave you an idea or something cool you can use for your next road trip, off-road trip, or camping trip. I'm going to have a link for this down in the description below. But if this video did help you out, please give it a great big thumbs up and help us out by becoming one of our subscribers. It helps you out more than you know. And of course, thanks for watching.